Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Power Apps Beginner Series. You are watching 21st part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about how we can manage roles in Power Apps Canvas app with Power Automate and SharePoint. So now let's get started. You have visited all my previous sessions, so you are continued with the role part. Now, from this session, I am going to discuss about the role management in Power Apps. At the very beginning of this series, I have talked about we are going to create two different roles for my application. One is requester role and one is manager role. Now, the thing is that I want to identify like whether the current user is a manager or a regular requester so how can I identify that let me show you that procedure in detail in order to manage role within the power apps we are going to use power automate over here one important thing to note here for this entire session we are having an example of SharePoint power apps and power automate right so make sure this trick will work only for SharePoint as a data source. If you are using any other data sources like SQL Server or Excel or any other thing, you need to use some different mechanism in order to manage role management, right? But the concept will be similar like that. If you are using SQL Server, you need to maintain your roles into different tables. If you are using Excel, you just need to manage a separate sheet or table in order to manage the role. Now, for this particular application, I am going to use SharePoint groups for permission. Now, let me show you the step-by-step -step procedure for creating a group, creating a flow for accessing the user from the group and second one is to show or hide fields based on the login user's role in Power Apps. So now let's start step by step procedure. For this leave application, we are having two roles. One is requester and one is manager. Now this is my SharePoint site. SharePoint site name is leave application. And now I am under people and group section. Here you can see that different groups are out of the box added. Now we are going to create one new group called managers. I already created one group with managers, but let me show you the procedure how to create the group. To create the SharePoint group, you just need to click on new and create a new group SharePoint group. You just need to provide the group name and you just need to select the which type of access you want to give to the users. Right? So let's say I'm going to provide edit access to my user and click on create. Right. So I created one SharePoint group. Now, once you click on, once you create the group, the group will be created. Now, let's say I already created that group and I added one member over here inside that group, meaning Tejal is someone who is a manager. Right. Now, let's say if I want to add some other users, click on new, add users to the group. Now, let's say I want to add Aditya as manager. So I'm just selecting his name, right? Show option, I want to send email invite and click on share. So I added Aditya as a user. You can also add the security group as well inside the SharePoint group. Now, at this moment, Tejal, Dhruvin and Aditya are manager. Rest of the users are members, right? Now, I want to check that permission using flow. So how can I do that? Right. So basically, we just need to check like if the current login user is a part of the manager group or not. If he is added to this particular group, meaning he has manager access, otherwise he has a regular access. So that is how we are going to manage the roles. Now, let me create a flow for that. So let me just open flow.microsoft.com. We need to create the instant flow from here. Now. I have already explained the procedure for how to create the flow, how to pass input parameters from Power Apps to Flow and how to return variable from Flow to Power Apps. Everything into 17th part of this series. So 
make sure that you also go with those concepts right so let me just create one instant flow let me just give the name of my flow and let me select trigger as power apps and let me just create that right now i already created one flow so let me just open that flow for you i created a flow check user permission let me just edit that flow now let me explain you the flow procedure step by step first of all my triggering action is from power apps I just initialized one variable email which I am taking as an input from my power apps. Then I just use ask in power apps over here. So that is created that particular input variable. I know this is the fast forward procedure but make sure that you visit my 17th part of this series. Right now I just initialized one more variable to store the user information uh, as an output right now let's say i'm just using an action send an http request to sharepoint so basically we just need to uh, provide the site address so basically my site address is live application site i am using get method i am using this particular api let me just zoom a little bit so you will get a better idea so i used api site groups get by name inside that i need to provide the group name that is managers and i am passing email over here basically i am checking this thing against the email like if the email is current users login email address then it will return me the user information so i am using this particular api to check like if my user is a part of that manager group or not so basically i used a api slash web slash site group slash cat by name here we need to provide the name of the group that is manager then uh, i just need to fetch the users from that group and then just filter that email is equal to current users email if that is true meaning i will be having result set inside that particular variable right now after that we just need to set like at this moment just initialize one variable that is managers value is no at this moment right now let's check the condition if the user info variable is something which is not equal to blank then it is considered as manager otherwise it is considered as a regular user so i'm just say storing the variable is manager as yes or no over here right and at last we are sending this response to my power apps one important thing to note i am going to provide the export of this flow so you can download that flow and set that in your tenant now let's go to the power apps and let's add our flow over here right so we just need to add our flow on the app start right but before we do that let's add our flow on any of the button so let's say i'm just adding one button here now go to the action and click on power automate so you will be having your flow available over here i explained everything to my earlier sessions 17th part of the session so make sure that you visit that video for the better concept now here we just need to pass the input value to our flow so i need to pass the user email as input so let me just use user dot email i just pass the email address right now i want to have the response from power apps as well so now let me just store this flow result in one of the variable so i am taking set variable I'm just giving my variable name as manager role and now I'm just storing its outcome over here so this is the is manager variable returned from the flow so I'm just typing dot is manager right so this is how I just set that value over here right now let me just now let me just print that variable in one of my labels so you we will get an idea so let me just add a label and let me paste that role over here right now let's trigger our flow so i'm pressing my button 
and now let's see what we are getting so i have logged in with dhruvin's account so dhruvin has the manager access as we have seen into this managers group right now let's check the floor and as well so i'm just clicking back and you can see that 12 second ago this flow has run successfully right and you can see that i am getting this response as it hears from here right now what we want to do here is in actual real life scenario user are not going to add this button so we just need to execute this code on the app start so i am just cut this code go to the app section and on start i am just pasting the same code right so we will be getting better idea so once the app is being opened first it will trigger this flow and based on that it will show the appropriate label to us over here right now let me just save this one and let me publish this and now let's go and check this particular thing with the other user now let me open the application with shriraj's account so i am just log in with the shriraj's account here and here you can see that i am getting no as a variable meaning that shriraj's account do not have manager groups permission let's check the flow run as well so i am just going here and let's check the last submitted flow over here right now here you can see that uh, this particular email address has been passed from the power apps uh, and in return we are getting this response is manager no right because into this particular variable user info array basically i am getting null as a response meaning that user don't have the access of this particular group right so now in this particular app on start i just find like whether my user is manager or not right based on that i can maintain one set bool variable with the boolean type and based on that I, i can show or hide fields based on the specific role so now let me show you few procedures over here and then we will continue the same with my next video so once we get this particular manager role value over here on app start we can define one more set variable like if manager role is equal to yes then i just want to set one variable is full access as true else i will set is full access as false right i just set this two variables over here right now what i want to do here is i just set this value as a boolean format right now what i want to do here is i just need to provide this variable on the visible condition of the component of the app right now let's say this is the button this is the fields which should be only applicable for the requester and this should be only visible for the managers right so basically if the user is manager its value is set as true right for that what we need to do here is just go to the visible condition of that and just set this particular variable is full access or not if the user has full access meaning that they will be able to view that particular button right now in order to test let's do one thing let me just run my app start and you can see that on manager role i am getting yes so based on the manager role uh this condition is becoming true over here and based on that what happen here is this particular variable is set as true right and due to that i am able to see this button right now one more thing i want to do here uh let me just do one thing let me just add one label over here version 1.1 as a text field right now i just stored this i just set this variable over here now let me just save and publish my app and let me check with shrirat's account that he is able to see this particular button or not
right so let me just publish this and here it is you can see that Shriraj is not a part of manager group so he is not able to view this button right now in my next session I am going to talk more about this thing we are going to more show and hide the different components based on role in the next session so stay tuned for my next and last session of this series if you have any question related to this role, you can add your questions in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.